it's time to do another pour. Today I'm going to do something, well, I was going to say, a really easy pour. <laughs> Most pours are easy. Doesn't mean it's going to come out the way you want it to, but what I'm going to do here is what it might look like, and that's a two-sided pour. Two colors only, white, and I grabbed this really pretty turquoise. Um, I've been a fan of these kinds of pours for years, but I've honestly never done one. So this will be a first for me. And I'm kind of excited to see how they twist up in color. So what we have here is we've got white acrylic ink, or excuse me, this is white acrylic paint, uh, titanium white, and it's mixed with Floetrol and a little bit of silicone. This is some acrylic ink. Yeah, this one has the ink in it. So I've got my turquoise acrylic ink, and I've got this in Floetrol with a little bit, again, a little bit of silicone. So we're just gonna pour them even see how they collide and what happens. I'm gonna start with this. Last night I put the tape around my canvas and I actually, if you can see a little bit of how it's a little bit shiny here, I went through with my finger and put some pouring medium just to seal any edges that may be open with this even though I, I uh, brandished it pretty good. should be on there pretty good. I didn't want anything leaking. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the sides yet. So, and now I've got a clog. Right. There we go. in the corners, kind of the prep work, I guess. This white is a little thicker than I want it to be. So I'm going to add a little water to what's left. distilled water added. We'll see if that helps. Might still be a little bit thick. <sighs> That's really thick. Probably got this right in front of the camera, so. Weird, I'm already seeing cells in the turquoise by itself. <laughs> all right, I think that's about all we can do on our own. Just introduce this lovely, lovely couple and see if they mesh. <laughs>
I wasn't looking for a straight side line, so this is fine with me. I'll get the torch to see if that helps at all. I have to watch out for the tape on this one because of the, I don't want to melt it. Some serious missing, serious mixing that I didn't want to do, but it's all experimental, so it works. This one's too thick. This one's just right, but there's too much of it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try a little trick. Well, it'll be a trick if I can pull it off. I'm gonna get all the white off of this. So I guess this is gonna be another video on how to overcome adversity. <laughs> but it's just enough that I can move stuff around now, I think. I don't know what I think of it, but I'll torch it again and see. Get all that white off of there. messed it up as much as much as I could so maybe not this piece maybe I haven't messed this part up enough okay so a two-part pour turns into a slight swipe <laughs> and the cool news is if this doesn't work out I prime my canvas for the next pour so you gotta look at it but I think I'm gonna give this a couple <laughs> Oh, Luther's letting me know somebody's here. <laughs> He's my little guard dog. All right, I'm going to do a couple more quick turns on this. My first idea 
for the sides was to get this where I wanted it and pull the tape off. And then finish the sides later if I needed to, but I actually think I'm going to go for that right now. medium hanging onto the tape. God, it really did make a really good border. Yeah, I don't like it. At least not so far. Maybe when it dries, I don't know. Alright, well, I'll come get you. You can see what we got here so far. <laughs> and there it is. Coming out from the side, I see a dot on the lens, so I hope you don't see that. But not thrilled with it. But we'll see what it looks like when it dries. Let's see. And we're back. No, it's not dry yet. But I wasn't liking it at all. So what I did, where's my little tool? I grabbed one of my little wood sculpting tools. It's got this end on it. See, it's just a little one. And what I did was I uh, went to this end first and pulled through the paint. Did the same thing there, and then I came down and opposite side did it this way. Let me pull back here. There we go. So that I went from there to there, there to there, and stopped just shy of getting to the ends. I don't know why, I just did. We'll see what happens. I'm already liking it better than I did before. So I'm a little bit more optimistic now to let this dry and see what happens to it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we'll be back in a minute.